Hi, this is Nick from PrimeLoops.com. Today I want to take you through sidechain compression. We'll just talk about the basics of compression and why sidechaining can really help your sound quickly and efficiently. Now I have a drum track and a bass line already written. I have just two MIDI clips with all the notes written in there. Let's listen to them together as they stand. As you can hear, the bass is stepping all over the drums and it's not sounding very good. Ideally, we'd like the bass and drums to be better balanced out relative to one another, but unfortunately, since the bass and the drums are triggering at the same time, the mix isn't ideal. And that's where sidechain compression steps in. It's a really quick and efficient way to get your drums and your bass playing together nicely. What we'd like to happen is for the bass to drop in volume as the drums are hitting, so that one isn't overpowering the other. The way to do that is to simply drag a compressor onto your bass track. Once you've done that, then just click on this little triangle at the top of the compressor device and you have your sidechain section. Turn on sidechaining and get audio from your drum track. Now what will happen is that the compressor is activated and it will apply whatever settings we have here every time the drums reach a certain level on the sidechain input. The next thing to do is to set the threshold down quite a bit for now. The threshold is simply the level in decibels above which needs to be reached by whatever's coming in through the sidechain input in order for the compressor to be activated. So as it stands, the signal needs to go above negative 24 decibels at the sidechain input in order for the compressor to start acting on the signal. The attack time simply represents how long the compressor will take to kick in once the threshold level is reached. The default release time of 20 milliseconds is fine for this application. Release is how long the compressor stays active after it's been activated. So these three parameters are going to work with one another to reduce the volume of the bass temporarily while the drums are hitting. Let's hear what it sounds like now. As you can see, every time that all-important kick drum hits, we're getting a definite reduction in gain. That's what this GR stands for, gain reduction. So that means that the sidechain compressor is working as it ought to be, because the kick drum is coming in through the sidechain signal, activating the compressor once it gets above negative 24.1 decibels, and it takes 8.64 milliseconds to kick in after that threshold is reached. And additionally, it's staying on for 20 milliseconds. Now if I play our sounds back and I mess with the threshold, you can hear that as I reduce the threshold, the gain of the bass is reduced for longer and longer amounts of time, until it sounds like the entire bass line is actually reduced in volume. Now that's not an effect that you're going to want to do all the time. But there are some groups like Justice and Daft Punk who know these settings really, really well and use them to great effect in their music. I'll see you next time for more audio production tips and tricks. Stay creative!